Hey guys, Bike and Bird here. Welcome to another bonus video. Uh, this one's kind of special to me because it's something that I've been working, working at uh, for the past over a year. I'm referring to my hair. As you can see, it's long as hell. And no, I'm not trying to be some badass Harley Rebel. Uh, I was actually inspired by a coworker of mine. Now I'll go ahead and tell you the story. One of my coworkers was backpacking across Europe. He's into that stuff. And on one of his trips, he saw a very old man, probably mid 60s, maybe early 70s, with super long hair. Uh, he was just curious, so he asked him, why do you grow your hair out so long? And the guy's answer was pretty powerful. He said, being a 65, 7 year old man and being bald is no big deal. It's what happens. But being a 5 to 10 year old girl and have it happen due to cancer or something like that, that's a little bit more life changing. So as long as I'm able to grow out my hair and donate that gift that I have, I'm going to continue to do it. So so being a strawberry blonde ginger redhead, uh, my hair is actually pretty rare, uh, especially for donations and stuff like that. So I looked up uh, a charity to donate to and I started growing it out. And I'm officially long enough to donate now. And with it being time for me to start preparing for interviews and stuff like that, it couldn't have come at a better time. So. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go get my hair cut to donate. So I got here stupid early, about 30 minutes or so, because uh, let me preface this with saying that I have a great sense of direction. But when I step inside this mall, all that goes out the door. I have no idea where I am. It's just this mall, it's not every mall. It's just this mall. Always been a baller, know that you the one. I can feel it in my heart, yeah. I won't stop charging, you go and come harder. I can see you and I, way beyond the stars, girl. I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl. So I can only say that it feels right. It feels right. Thing. There it is. All gone. Well, most of it. I usually go shorter than this, believe it or not. I didn't tell my girlfriend I was doing this today. I didn't tell, I told my boss just because I asked him if I could come in a little bit later because I wasn't on time to do that and get to work on time. But yeah, my boss is the only person that knows that I'm here doing this. Might get shot walking in my house tonight <laughs> by my girlfriend. Went to my guy Kyle here at Visible Changes North Star here in San Antonio. If you need a good uh, hairstylist or whatever, he's the guy to go to. I've been going to him for a couple years now. Uh, great guy, always does a fantastic job. Let's go get all this hair uh, boxed up and sent out, shall we? All right guys, so we are back home uh, getting everything packaged up. Hair is good and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and get this packed up here. In case you guys are wondering where it's being donated, uh, I chose children with hair loss out of Rockwood, Michigan. So right, so right, so right. I'm just going with the gut. Never had a doubt, felt like this is just a must. Put me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut. Everybody tuning in, this is- Close your eyes. Yes, but keep your eyes closed and don't run into walls. Feel your, feel your way out though. You can do it, baby, I have faith in you. It's just right here. Hold on. Just close your eyes and look up, okay? Keep your eyes closed though, no peeking. I wanna be able to get you, okay? Hold on. Okay, hold on, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> <laughs> so I guess that's a good thing. I guess she approves. Yeah. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next week.